All right, so we just got a new teaser for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. So in today's video, I'll be breaking down the teaser and just giving my own theories and speculation about it of when this teaser is actually taking place in the show. So please stay tuned. And now before we actually get into the video, I'd like to ask you all to like, share and subscribe. And again, thank you guys so much for the growth. Thank you guys so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And just in case if you all missed it, I actually did post a new video of Negan's backstory. It's a full breakdown of Negan's story in The Walking Dead from the start all the way up until Dead City. So if that's something that interests you, I'll be linking the video up on the card at the top right. So make sure to check that out. And now without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so this teaser actually does start off with the CRM logo, just like how the last teaser started off. And, you know, there's really not much to say here. And it does look like that this is going to be a trend for the next couple of teasers. They're just going to be showing the CRM logo and then going into like a two second teaser. And I think that this has some sort of meaning to it. I mean, it could just be just for the teasers itself, but this could have a prominent part in the show. This could be like some sort of uh, start of a recording, like explaining what the CRM is, right? Like how the Commonwealth did, did have their recordings of Lance Horns being just explaining what the Commonwealth is so maybe rick could be watching a video and it has this logo flashing in front of it but like you know they're just keep on showing this thing and it might have some significance to it and now we actually do get this shot right here of a pair of shoes and we don't know who this is right and we did get a few behind the scenes pictures of this specific scene right here and but just this specific person right here i'm not too sure who this is this this could just be like a normal crm uh worker right and he because again like you know his attire by the pants and the shoes it kind of looks like what rick was wearing so he could be part of that group that was on that mission at nighttime when potentially rick does lose his hands and where this scene is taking place is in the crm community and this is where just like all the people are and is it's basically the main hub of the community and we did get a lot of behind the scenes pictures of of just this um set right here and we do see like you know michonne in there and jadis and stuff like that and yeah this is definitely in the big crm community hub and now the camera actually does pan to another set of boots and from what we saw in the behind the scenes pictures and just the footage and all of that this does seem like rick's boots and uh, like i mentioned before there was actually a behind the scenes video of this specific scene from what i can remember and again like how i said before this is in the crm community and this is probably before the mission at nighttime like you know the mission we've been seeing uh like in all the trailers and stuff like that where rick potentially does lose his hand and this is either before that mission or this could be after that mission because like a lot of times during like the behind the scenes pictures and stuff like that when we do see the rick, the crm uh community and just rick walking around and talk to jadis and stuff like that he actually does have his hands in his pockets now i'm not too sure if that is for the show itself or it's just andrew lincoln hiding something but um this could either be before or after or this could be the same day and and then rick goes on to this mission at nighttime and of course i'm not able to show the behind the scenes pictures in this video but what i assume here is that from here rick is going to go talk to jadis and she does actually tell him about the mission that he has to go on and possibly jadis actually does give him a hint on how to escape from there and how to escape during this mission but then he's not able to do so um that is my assumption there and i'm not really too like firm on it but th that's that's just something i came up with but you know, there's not much to talk about when it comes to this teaser, and that's because one, the teaser is very short, and two, it's just two pairs of shoes. And of course, one of them is Rick. And with the with, with like the pictures and the videos that we got from the behind the scenes, we do have a pretty good idea like when this is taking place. And my assumption here is that this is right before the mission. And then when Rick actually does end up cutting off his own hand during the mission, and then we go into the teaser that was released last week, which was uh, somebody opening Rick's door. And in my previous video, I did say that that was Major General Beale. That could be Jadis. But also there is proof that that could be Rick Grimes himself. And I'm not too sure how to align the timeline here if Rick does end up coming becoming into a CRM soldier. 
But uh, my assumption here is that this scene right here is in the past. And we did see, of course, like I mentioned before, behind the scenes pictures of it. And Rick is looking exactly like how we've been seeing in the trailers, right? You know, with the shorter beard, with like the slightly longer hair. So we could assume here that this is taking place around season 10 of the walking dead maybe even before maybe season 9 of the walking dead maybe between the six year time jump that you know it took from rick leaving the show and you know from Gr judith growing up right that it could be within those six years and this could be rick's early days in the crm and the, I'm saying that because the finale of season 11, Rick is in a much worse state, right? He's he's not wearing his shoes at all, right? And he's just bare feet and he has a longer beard. He, his condition is horrible and he's trying to escape the CRM. But over here, it does seem like that he's totally fine. But, you know, he just has to carry out some jobs for the CRM when it comes to killing walkers and stuff like that. So my assumption here is that this scene right here is in the past. And then eventually Rick becomes into a CRM soldier and then he's wearing like a black suit like how we did see in the behind the scenes pictures again I can't show that here but we did see like some pictures of Andrew Lincoln behind the scenes he's wearing a black CRM coat like something like what Jadis was wearing and stuff like that in World Beyond so we could see Rick becoming a CRM soldier after this moment here and then he ends up escaping again because it's just so confusing aligning these timelines and that is mostly because of Rick's facial hair and just like his condition itself because here he's wearing his boots right and and then like in the finale of season 11 rick is wearing the same attire with like the crm jacket and and also the spear but he doesn't have his boots on and of course you throw in that he potentially becomes a crm soldier that just like makes the timeline even more messy so of course the crm is not going to make rick a high-ranking crm soldier right away right he's not going to be wearing the black coat like as soon as he enters the crm because of course they're not going to trust him and so i think that this is where rick starts off he's just carrying out jobs for the crm and stuff like that and then in the end of season 11 we see that moment there where he tries escaping for the last time and then of course the person in the helicopter says that you know like there's no escape for the living and then they take rick back and then they could possibly do another time jump and we could possibly see the present day and i think that by the end of season 11 like where we left off for the walking dead i think that's the moment where we might see rick being a crm soldier like a full-on crm soldier with the black coat and everything because we've seen that in the behind the scenes pictures and it seems inevitable at this point and you know like i could be getting the timeline mixed up here maybe like the teaser from last week is in present day and that person that's unlocking the door is rick grimes himself it could be major general beal it could be jadis it's so hard to assume here because these teasers are so unclear and they're just extremely short so we just have to wait for the full trailer to come out and let's just hope that we get a better idea of when this show is taking place and if it's jumping through timelines because that is my main assumption here that this show is jumping through timelines of course we're going to see when rick eventually makes to the crm and then we're going to see him like you know of course working for the crm when it comes to just killing walkers and just being like a normal worker with that whole spear and stuff like that and then maybe we might get a flash forward to present day and and then we're going to see Rick in that black coat. But another thing that really does screw this up again is that, I mean, of course, um, watch out for spoilers, right? I'm going to be talking about spoilers now. Is that in the behind the scenes, we do see Rick and Michonne escaping from the CRM. And Rick looks like how he did when they were carrying out that mission at nighttime. And again, that even like that confuses me even more. And uh, maybe like I could possibly come up with something here. Maybe it's it's like um, Rick eventually like he makes it into the CRM. Then he gets a good impression of them. Then he's like these people aren't that bad. Jadis actually convinces Rick that you know CRM are good people. And then CRM they see that you know Rick is a good leader. They make him into a CRM soldier right with the black coat and everything. And then Rick he finds out some stuff. He finds out about the experiments and he just finds out about about them taking down whole communities just to stay in control 
and then Rick eventually goes against them. He tries escaping when they bring him back. And then they make him into a worker, like, you know, just by killing walkers with a spear and stuff like that. I think, in my opinion, that would make a little bit more sense. And that's because, like, um, because Rick tried escaping so much and they wouldn't just promote him after that. I think that the CRM is too smart. They would not promote Rick after he tried escaping. I think that they would actually make Rick a high-ranking CRM soldier before he tries escaping and then after whenever he finds out like you know these guys are doing this they're, they're doing that and then that's when they make him into a worker and then that's when he cuts off his arm that's when michonne comes and then they actually do try escaping and probably these scenes we're seeing here in the trailer and stuff like that this could be in present day as well so who knows and now that's it for today's video i'd like to ask you all to like share and subscribe and again thank you guys so much for the growth thank you guys so much for the support i really really appreciate it and i just wanted to like flesh out my theory a bit more about this because like when it comes to the show the timeline is oddly confusing and it seems simple at first but then when you really do think about it it, it does it does get very confusing of what's taking place when and if some stuff are taking place in the past or not so you know i apologize if my theory didn't make sense i needed some time to flesh it out but if you guys like the theory in this video please like the video comment down your thoughts and subscribe but yeah other than that thank you guys so much for watching